Hey there, hunters. Thanks for joining us once again, and welcome back to Sunday Gun Day. This week, as waterfowl seasons are in full swing across the nation, I want to talk to you about a new shotgun built for the blind from the folks at Browning. I'm talking about the new A5 Wicked Wing Shotgun. The Browning A5, as you probably already know, was brought to life in 2012 when a patent expiration allowed Browning to put an awesome inertia-operated action into a shotgun. And while its exterior design, namely the obvious humpback, and the A5 moniker pay homage to the old Auto 5 my grandfather fell in love with, the Browning A5 is a completely new shotgun, have no doubt. The inertia system, which Browning calls kinematic drive system, is one of the best I've ever tested. It's fast, can handle any shell you throw into it, it's clean shooting, and when compared to its counterparts in the inertia world, is extremely light recoiling. Ergonomically speaking, while some look at the humpback with harsher eyes than even Quasimodo garnered, there are those that see this sharp edge as a thing of beauty, which is probably why Browning decided to bring it back. Let me be clear, the humpback design serves no purpose other than aesthetics, but to me, it is certainly that. And actually, the large flat receiver does provide an awesome sight picture. Alone, the Browning A5 is a great shotgun, and with the Wicked Wing upgrades, it's a waterfowling machine. The new Browning A5 Wicked Wing sports a mossy oak shadow grass blades paint job on the soft Dura-Touch stock and forend, and a durable, marshy-looking burnt bronze Cerakote finish on the barrel and receiver. An Inflex 2 recoil pad helps to tame some of those hard-hitting waterfowl loads. The bolt release has been increased in size, perfect for manipulation with gloved hands. And if you look closely, you'll see not only the marsh grass of the mossy oak blades camo, but the buckmark on one side and the A5 Wicked Wing on the other etched into the receiver. It's a classy touch. The Wicked Wing A5 is available in a 3-inch 12-gauge with barrel lengths of 26, 28, and 30 inches, and a 3.5-inch 12-gauge with 28 and 30-inch barrels. All barrels are fully chrome bored. When it comes to choke tubes, Browning went to the guys at Briley Manufacturing and came up with a unique set of extended chokes, full, modified, and improved cylinder that are designed to resemble leg bands. Browning calls them their banded in Vector DS choke tubes. All told, the Wicked Wing A5 package weighs in at right around 7.5 pounds, depending on the barrel length, and reaches an overall length just shy of 50 inches. That's a far cry from the heavy, kerchunking Auto 5 of the past, to be sure. However, my guess is that the new A5 will create a similar following based on its function and reliability alone. With an MSRP of about Oh, 1979 and Browning's 100,000 round five-year guarantee, it's a shotgun that will play very well alongside others of its caliber. To find out more about the Browning A5 Wicked Wing shotgun, visit browning.com. And of course, for more Sunday Gun Day, any day of the week, stay tuned to AmericanHunter.org. Bolt! Bolt!